stay away for too long. Don't go to bed. I'll make a cup of coffee. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to my YouTube channel Meet me again, Eni Arianti In this new video, I will bring a storytelling demonstration For my final assignment from Miss Mary Agustiani So, check it out Hi guys, my story is about the monkey and the crocodile once upon a time in the beautiful jungle there is a lovely apple tree in the apple tree live a mon a smart monkey in the same forest live a crocodile and his wife one day the crocodile swim uh, swimming off the river and comes to rest under the apple tree on which the monkey lives. The crocodile was tired because he swimming off a quiet distance. So the crocodile was tired and hungry. And the kind monkeys sees that the crocodile was tired and and hungry, and the monkey wants to share the apple with the crocodile. Hello, the called the monkey, who is a kind animal. Hello, replay the crocodile. Do you know where I can get uh, some food? I have anything to eat all day and I'm hungry. Now, you might think the crocodile want to eat the monkey. But this was kind and gentle crocodile and their thing never enter his head. Monkey said, I have lots of fruit in my tree. Would you like to try some? And then the monkeys throw the apple to throw the apple down to crocodile. And the crocodile eat of all the apples Be because he really really hungry and then the crocodile eats sweet apples thanks the monkey and go back home before the crocodile back home monkey said come back Whenever you want, you want more fruits, and then the crocodile swim back to the. One day, the generous monkey sent a few fresh for apple fruits for the crocodile wives. Please, take some fruit for your wife. As well, when you go back today, said the monkey, and then the crocodile bring many apples to his wife. The crocodile's wife loved the apple. She had never eaten anything so sweet before, but she was not as kind as gentle. As her husband imagined how sweet the monkeys would taste as he eats this apple every day, she said to her husband. The kind crocodile tried to explain that he couldn't possibly to eat monkeys. He is my best friend, he said. 
I'm dying and only a sweet man kiss hurt can cure me. She cried to her husband. If you love me, you will catch your friend the monkey and let me eat his earth. The poor crocodile didn't know what to do. He didn't want to eat her friend, but he could not let his wife die. At least the crocodile decided to bring monkey to meet his wife as he want to thank him in person for the lovely apple fruit the monkey was pleased but said he couldn't possibly go because he didn't know how to swim in the river the crocodile said don't worry about that i will carry you on my back the monkey agree and jump onto the crocodile back the crocodile was happy that he tricked the monkey and lure out the real reason that invitation the monkey the monkey was shocked but he didn't panic he think quickly and said oh dear friend why didn't you say so earlier I'm more happy that to give my heart to your wife but I usually keep it safely it the behind of the apple tree we will have to go back and get it there and get it if you want to make your wife happy the crocodile foolishly believed the monkey's word and said oh okay let's go back and get it then the crocodile swam back to the apple tree as fast as he could as soon as they reach the bank the monkey jump on the tree and climb the tallest bridge away from the crocodile's grabs how can I keep my heart outside my body go back to your wife and tell her that she has married the biggest fool on this earth and do not come back ever you are the worst friend I have ever had monkey said the crocodile was really disappointed and embarrassed at how foolish he was the crocodile swung back home without empty hand okay guys uh, that's all about my stories uh, about the monkeys and the crocodile stories and bye bye